everyone good evening namaste how are you guys doing today is tuesday evening yay our spiral art session i'm all set i hope you all are also set right set with your 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet or you must have drawn it with your black marker pen and let's start so as you always know we are going to start with the strings before the string we are going to start drawing the border first i'm using a little thicker marker pen for the border if you guys have not drawn your border yet please go ahead and start drawing string so for the string first we are going to divide it into half vertically so i'm just keeping it like that and i'm drawing one line in the center so this is the first line of the string for today and now from the both bottom corners we are going to draw a line and we are going to join from the top center corner this we are going to draw two more lines like kind of half of it this and this and after this we are going to draw two straight line so this is kind of one point perspective drawing isn't it So this is our today's string guys now I'm keeping my pen back and I'm giving you time to catch up and draw the string and then we'll start the spiral together and before we start the spiral together I really want to give shout out to Pushpa beautiful pattern you drew we, we draw this spiral art last uh, session Adishri beautiful submission Deepa awesome keep submitting like that ananya neerja and these are the old ones that ritu made two versions of the same one this beautiful flower deepa keep submitting like that i love your submissions and i was looking at the art corner i really want to say look this beautiful rasna you did awesome this is very pretty she turned out and she mixed up various patterns and made a beautiful happy birthday card this is so pretty beautiful rasna awesome suma vijaya sabita beautiful lines lavanya very neat adishri keep submitting like that this this is the pattern which we did draw in the draw on sundays and doodle pattern right so keep submitting like that guys i really enjoy looking at your submissions and now yes thank you adishri now it's the time to start the spiral art So now I'm taking my this little thinner pen. You can use the same pen. It's not really necessary to change the pen. I'm just changing it little little thick for the string and the medium size for the spiral art. And let's start. So we'll start from this top left top left corner and we'll go clockwise. Thank you. 
block is done with this beautiful spiral art. I hope everyone is catching up well. And now it's the time to draw the second block. So for the second block, we'll start from the top and we will go anti-clockwise. Please write down in the chat if you want me to wait or if you have any questions. After every block, I'll look at the chat and give you the reply. How about let's write down one and two and then let's know whoever is drawing along with me. So please write down one if you guys are drawing along with me or write down two if you are just enjoying watching me drawing. Thank you Adishri. Good. Thank you Ananya. Thank you Barbara. Thank you Diksha. Awesome. Thank you, Pushpa. And all of you, thank you, Sabita. So whoever is drawing along with me, don't forget to submit after the session, okay? Can you play basketball? <laughs> thank you, Aruna. I would love to see your daughter's work. Thank you, Nirja. Now we'll start working on this corner and we'll start from the center point, okay? And we will go anti-clockwise here we start from the center point maybe I made my Sundays and today colorful let me know how you liked it Pushpa did you submit it in the Zen Doodle session this is the one you are saying no this is the uh, you submitted in art corner in discord I didn't see yours which one you are talking Pushpa oh this one yes it is pretty I I'm sorry I just I thought when my picture came with uh, Linda I really want to say thank you to Linda if she's here I want to give her shout out and this is really nice Pushpa awesome oh this is really nice awesome beautiful look guys and she put like that the combination of yellow and green together and it is popping well nice beautiful and beautiful Sri Ranjini look so beautiful uh, she made Linda and she really helped me in learning how to do laser cut on the wooden I would like to show you it's here with me so this is what I made with her I learned how to do laser cut on a wooden panel this is a wooden panel and I actually drew this mandala by my hand and then she helped me out how to do laser cut. I, even I submitted this in the artwork. Thank you, Nirja. I, I showed yours too. Yes. Thank you, Linda. Thanks a lot. I really want to give a huge shout out to Linda. She helped me a lot and she taught me how to turn my handmade mandala into this beautiful piece which I am always keeping it like a treasure so this is a beautiful piece now
Now we are going to start from this bottom point and we will go clockwise here. Is it looking guys just with this one third section it is looking so pretty so all fans are overlapping and we are going to exactly replicate it to the other side so we are going to start from this top right corner and we'll go anti-clockwise first guys we'll see each other on Thursday evening same time for the spiral art and then this Friday we are starting our first dot mandala class I'm very excited for it and I hope you guys are also excited for the dot mandala art right this will be our first class first session of dot mandala and then Saturday we will start, we'll complete our mandala which we started last session. That is the watercolor based mandala. And then Sunday we will do Zen Doodle again. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all four days we'll see each other. And now we are going to start from this top point and we will go anti-clockwise again. No, I'm sorry, clockwise. Awesome. And now we'll start from the center point and we'll go clockwise again here. We'll start from the center point and we will go in the clockwise direction. If you want, you can rotate your paper. I know a lot of kids wants to use the ruler they can you can use the ruler it's absolutely up to you I would like to draw freehand that's the fun of this spiral art to draw the freehand but sometimes if you want to use the ruler no worries as I always say no rules it's your artwork it's your style. Here you go. Oh, Shikha, I can't show you today's final artwork because even I'm making it the first time. That's the fun of these spiral art. The excitement is like, you know, full on because we don't know what we are going to get at the end. So I can't show you the final art. What webcam you use to stream here, please? So I'm not sure about this webcam. There's a technical thing. My husband is behind all these technical things. He can give you the answer in the back. I'm not sure about. And yeah, that's your answer. Oh, you gave the answer already. Okay. And for Friday, is it on black card stock? So Pushpa, 
on friday we will start on the black card stock yes for sure because that's our first day right so we are going to do some technical stuff like about the dot art about the tool learning and some uh, other kind of like dot styles and all that stuff pr for practice and then we'll move on to the canvas or if you don't want to move on to the canvas you can make the final picture on the paper first that's absolutely your choice okay now I'm working on this block thank you Diksha and for this block as you guys see I'm working I'm starting from the center point and I'm going anti-clockwise Here you go we are done with these two sides these two triangles now we are left with the center two triangles and these are to the big triangles and what I'm doing I'm just doing one more line in the string I'm grabbing my this pen and as you see I'm just making one more line going here and now we'll do the string okay please go ahead and draw one parallel line in the center and then we are going to make our two spirals in both these two triangles and they are the biggest lines so guys it's absolutely okay if you keep rotating your paper so that you get the straight lines in your direction So for here, we are going to start from this left bottom and we will go clockwise in this triangle. can keep rotating your paper because the lines are a little longer so it would be easier if you rotate the paper as the shape gets smaller then you can keep drawing at one side or otherwise you can just keep drawing like without rotating the paper then like that that is also absolutely fine is it okay So whoever wants to start their dot mandala after the practice on the black card stock wants whoever wants to start on the canvas please get ready your canvas with the black color and gesso is preferably suggested because if you put two layers of gesso before the black color then you will get a very nice sheen on your like very smooth finish on your canvas and whatever color you put over the black for the dots your canvas will not like kind of seep in or soak in and you will get a bright color over your canvas that is why i suggest gesso but you can skip the gesso part if you want and you can just put a professional black color layer that is required before you start any dot art on any canvas that is my suggestion so 
but if you are working on a black card stock then you are just good just keep few card stocks along with you Yes, yes, yes. All paints, please. We need all the paints. Please keep your all paints along with you. And you can fix your spirals the way I'm fixing if you leave more space just now. Do you need all of the paints? If you have, yes, we need all the paints. Tada, we are just left with the music. <laughs> I think you guys can do the help chat in the discord okay I'm just turning my paper a little other way around because it's kind of curling up get what, what are you asking Ananya why did you write why can you write down your question again maybe I missed your question why do you need all the paints if they have the black art stock to make the dot art simple right okay guys now it's the time to start from so in this one we started from our this top from this line here also we are going to start from center and we will go clockwise okay we start from the center bottom we will go right and we will go this anti-clockwise yes I was looking at the clock that I'm telling right or wrong sometimes I get confused let the black and just we don't need gesso paint and the black paint if we are working on the black card stock ananya because black card stock is card stock is all set to just start with because it is already like good finish so generally we are we are not like generally we are not making dot painting on the black card stock which we are supposed to like frame or like keep it or hang it it is just for the practice and the problem is when you work on the black card stock and if you mess up somewhere it is like kind of impossible to fix it but if you mess up on the canvas then you can still fix it you have some options to clean that up on the canvas but on the paper it is really difficult to take the acrylic paint off if you mess up somewhere and 
after putting lot of dots whatever thick card stock you get you get some crimple effect in your card stock so that is one of the reason and you don't get that beautiful sheen on your card stock the one you get with the acrylic paint on your canvas so card stock is good for the practice card stock is good to check your colors to your color schemes to get some new techniques to try on some other few tool uh, dot styles and something like that but for the final product i would i would always suggest to use the canvas yeah that's it okay so now we are done guys how is it looking now it's the time for the time to grab your pencil and start the shading so i really want to bring these two corner triangles here lay down your graphite whatever pencil you have if you have ebony pencil then it's awesome otherwise you can use any 2b 3b 4b any b grade darker value pencil would work i'm using here 3b If you put a little extra pressure you will get a good beautiful graphite laying down and then you can use your used q-tip or you can use your blending stump or any tissue paper whatever blending device you have you can use that and then you can blend it if you have gray marker pen you can go ahead and use the gray marker pen for the shading and for these beautiful dimensions you can give that will give already without putting these graphite it looks beautiful 3d illusionistic kind of art and it is like this is such a beautiful art it is you can call it a relaxing art meditative art 3d line illusion art relaxing art so whatever you feel whatever you feel after drawing this you can call it right it's just the perception how you are feeling how you are looking at it I just love it and when I love it when I love to draw this art so it gives me meditative effect it gives me relaxing effect and excitement is always on because I myself don't know what we are going to get at the last that is the fun and guys this is our 39th spiral art 39th live spiral art session and every single spiral art is different from each other sometimes we put little extra elements little extra tricks and twist but still if you are not putting any twist it looks pretty look it's looking so beautiful 3d illusion and generally kids love it because it looks it gives beautiful illusion kind of thing 3d and always beautiful different pattern and here center i just want to give very yes, soft lining that's it guys what is the last thing we are supposed to do As we always do so the last thing is we are supposed to write down we are supposed to do sign our initials today's date it is 14 7 dot 14 dot 20 and the most important thing yes additionally is to praise ourselves because we spent this half an hour so creatively beautifully and we are proud of it this is a beautiful abstract art pattern and this is so i'm petting my shoulder good job nithi prakash please give beautiful shout out to yourself 
Say aloud your name and say some good words to yourself and to your at work. And it's time to say good night. See you guys on Thursday, same time. Friday for dot art, Saturday for mandala art, and Sunday again for the Zen Doodle. And I want to say thank you again to Linda. I want to show this. She helped me out. Let me show you quickly. Just give me a second. This is the this is the mandala which I drew, and this is the mandala which she helped me to transfer into the three D laser cut on the wooden panel. Look, guys, how is it looking? So thank you, Linda, once again. She runs Forge Initiative for Robotics. My son goes there, all age groups, FLL and FRCs and FTCs. So that's the awesome place for robotics. And I learned the 3D laser painting there. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me. See you on Thursday. Bye.